and today we're going to be working on Humble Warrior Pose. It's a lunge pose, hands interlaced as we fold. So we're really working into our hips today. We're going to open up the shoulders and the chest. And if you're more advanced, I'm going to give you a couple options for binding. Let's go ahead and begin in a seated position today. If you prefer to sit on a block or a blanket to make your hips more comfortable, please do that. I'll begin sitting comfortably, eyes closed. And if that's difficult, just focus your eyes on one point on the floor. Take a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Exhale. Three more breaths. Slowly down your exhale. Breathing deeply into the back of the body, expanding the space at the back of the heart. Expanding your breath into the front of the heart. Letting the space of the shoulders open as you inhale and soften as you exhale. Lengthening up through your spine. Sending your tailbone into the ground, but sitting up tall through the crown of your head. Drawing your breath towards the roof of your mouth, creating your Ujjayi breath. Making a whisper sound as you inhale. And exhale. Three more. On your next exhale, bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Three shoulder rolls with just the left side. And relax the shoulder. Just feel that opening from the jaw to the neck to the shoulder, across the chest. As you inhale, gently bring the head back to center. Exhale over to the left side. Three shoulder rolls with just the right shoulder. Actually, let's do a few more. We want to be even between the sides and then relax the shoulder. Just feel that stretch along the jaw, neck, chest, shoulder. Just releasing tension. Inhale, slowly bring your head all the way in. Exhale, gently tuck your chin. Inhale, lifting your chin. 
Open your mouth, big exhale. Let's do that again. Open the mouth wide and release that tension from your jaw. Back to center. Gently tense your fingertips behind you. Fingers pointing away. Pull your shoulder blades together and lift your heart. Feel that opening across the chest and breathe into the chest. As you exhale, gently tuck your chin. Keep the chest open, lower your chin towards your heart. Inhale, slowly release, stretching your arms up to the sky. Exhale, bring your palms down to your heart center. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, reaching out and up. Exhale, heart center. And exhale to the heart. Inhale, stretch your arms all the way up. Press your palms away. Shoulders draw down your back. And we're not arching the spine here. The spine is really straight and tall. We're going to start to roll the shoulders, making circles with the arms here. But let the motion initiate from the shoulders and not from the hand. Good. Go the other way. Feeling the muscles around the shoulders opening up. Good. Keep those arms straight, press them out. And then release, hold. Inhale. As you exhale, bring your right hand down and stretch your left arm all the way over. Good. Look up to the ceiling, stretching your neck a little bit. If that's uncomfortable, you could always look down to the ground instead. Then bring your left hand into a half bind behind your back. Just roll your shoulder open. Continue to look up to the sky. And then exhale, turn your head down. Just deepen that next stretch. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Reach up to the sky. Exhale, bring it down. Stretch your right arm all the way over. Spin the chest open. Look up. Breathe into the side of the body. Waking up the spine. And then bring your right hand to your low back. Inhale as you lift your chin. And exhale, turn your head down to the ground. Just breathing here. Relax your neck. Inhale, reaching up, both arms come all the way up to the sky. Exhale, we're going to open the arms wide and twist to the right, tend your fingertips down. Lift up really tall through your spine. Inhale, reaching out and up. Exhale, twist the other way, tend your fingertips on the ground. Lengthen your spine, twist as you exhale. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, you're going to bring your hands down by your sides. Pull your knees into your chest and float your feet for boat pose. Draw the belly in. Lift your chest up. If you want to modify, put your toes down. You could also float your hands. Lift your chest. And we're going to take five breaths here. Engage your core and sit up really tall. Inhale. Inhale, knees in. Exhale, cross your ankles, and we're going to roll forward, coming to tabletop. Plant your palms.
Plant your palms directly underneath your shoulders. Plant your knees underneath your hips. Feet are as wide as your knees and you're pressing into the tops of your feet. Inhale, round your spine, curl it under cat pose. Exhale, releasing into your cow pose. Lift the heart, lift the tail. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cow. Keep breathing. Three more. Ujjayi breath. Inhale, coming to neutral. On your next breath, extend your right leg all the way back. Lift your heel up, and then as you exhale, bring your knee to your right shoulder. Inhale, send back. Exhale to the right shoulder. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Hold here, and then plant your right foot at the top. Hands inside the leg, finding a low lunge. You can have blocks under your hands if you prefer. You just want to feel a stretch through your hip, but you shouldn't feel any pain. Lower your hips, lift your chest. Take a deep breath in. And then we're going to stay here for a few breaths. Pressing into the top of the left foot, pressing into the right foot. Just opening up the hips. On your next exhale, straighten your right leg, pick up your right toes, and lengthen the body forward as you fold. Let's do that again. Inhale, bend the knee, lift the heart. Exhale, straighten the fold. Inhale, bend and lift. Exhale, straighten the fold. Hold. As you inhale, you're going to bring your right knee to meet your left. And sit back in child pose. Take three breaths here. On the next inhale, coming up to your tabletop. Plant your palms, plant your knees. Inhale, extend your left leg all the way back. Exhale, bring your knee to your left elbow. Inhale, send it back. Exhale to the elbow. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, hold. And plant your foot outside your hands at the top. Fingertips on the ground or use your block if your hips are tighter because we don't want to force the hips to go further than they're ready for. Lower your hips, lift your chest, press into the top of your right foot, press into your left foot. We're just going to take a few breaths here. Allowing the hips to open a little bit more with each exhale. When we hold the breath, the body tenses up and we can't quite relax into our poses. So breathe deeply. On your next exhale, straighten your left leg and fold. Good. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, bend the knee, lift the chest. Exhale, straighten, fold. Inhale, bend the knee, lift. Exhale, straighten, fold. On your inhale, bring your left knee to meet your right. Plant your palms on the ground. Shift forward into your hands. As you exhale, keep your body nice and straight. Bend your elbows and lower for modified chaturanga. Belly on the ground, shoulder blades together, elbows pull in. Inhale, lifting your heart. And then exhale, going back to child pose. And on your next exhale, tuck your toes, lifting for down dog, downward facing dog. 
Eyes are looking back at your feet or your knees. Pressing into your palms, lift your tailbone. Take a few deep breaths. On your next inhale, start to walk your feet forward to the top. And we're going to fold at the top when you get there. Hold opposite elbows, hang your head, gentle bend in the knees. And you really want to feel the stretch between the shoulder blades. Take a few more breaths into the back of the heart. On your inhale, slowly press into your feet. Roll all the way up to stand. Stretch your arms out, reach up to the sky. Exhale, bring your palms to heart center. As you inhale, stretch up to the sky. Exhale, you're gonna open your arms wide, reach back, interlace your fingers behind your back. If that's difficult, you can hold a dish towel or a strap between your hands. Inhale, lift your chest. And then as you exhale, you're going to bend your knees, release your hands, and reach up for chair. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale. Good. One more breath. And we're going to fold all the way forward. On your next inhale, you're going to step your left foot back for warrior one. Left heel is down on the ground. Your leg is straight. Your left toes are pointing out towards the top corner of your mat, not directly to the side. That's warrior two. Right knee bends over your ankle, press into your feet. Inhale, rising up, warrior one. Press into your feet, square your hips. And there's a gentle tuck of the tailbone here, which anchors your back leg. Lifting up, breathing slowly. Inhale, you're going to straighten your leg. Exhale, swing your hands back, bring your shoulder blades together. Inhale, bend your knee, reaching high. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Reach your hands back, and then bring your hands down to the ground and fold. As you inhale, lengthen. Plant your palms, and you're going to step back to your plank pose. Press into your feet, press into your hands, deep breath. And as you exhale, bend your elbows and lower to chaturanga. Inhale, lift your chest, upward facing dog. Remember, you can always choose to do low cobra and um, come to your belly instead of doing these postures. Listen to your body, do what feels right. Exhale to down dog. You can take a child pose at any time that you need to. Just breathe. On your next inhale, lift your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, you're going to bring your knee to your right elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale to the elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right elbow hold. If you're more advanced, you might take a push up here just for fun and plant your right foot at the top. Inhale, right arm up, twist. Open the chest, lower your hips. Twisting the body, breathing deeply. Optional half bind if you like to reach the right hand around. And breathe. If you want to challenge, press into your feet, float your left hand. Uh, 
On your next exhale, release. Bring both hands down inside the leg. Bring your left heel down so your heels line up with each other. And this time your toes point directly out to the left side, towards the side of your mat. Inhale, open up, warrior two. Shoulders down the back, deep breath in. Good, inhale, reach all the way up. Lengthen the right side of your body. Exhale, you're going to bring it down, side angle pose. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, bring it all the way back, reverse. Exhale, side angle, and hold. Either float your hand for a challenge, or bring your fingertips down, or use a block. Spin your chest open. Option to bring your hand into a half bind. Breathe. You might reach your right hand around and take a full bind, but it's not necessary. Roll the chest open, push into your feet. Keep breathing. As you exhale, bring your hands down. And on your inhale, step your left foot forward. Exhale, hold. Take a moment here. You can hold opposite elbows. Just breathe, reset, check in. And press firmly into your feet. Inhale, rolling all the way up. Stretch your arms out, reach up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, chair pose. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, sit low, swing your hands back. Shoulder blades together. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, swing it back. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Reach back, interlace your fingers. Lift your chest, deep breath in. And as you exhale, fold over your bent knees, relax your neck, lift your hands to the ceiling. Breathe. As you exhale, gently release your hands down to the ground. And on your inhale, you're going to step your right leg back. Bring your heel down for warrior one. Toes at a bit of an angle, pointing towards the top corner. Bend your left knee over your ankle. Push into your feet. Inhale, rising warrior one. Square your hips. Gentle tuck of your tailbone so you anchor your right foot. Lift up through your chest, through the back of your body. And continue to breathe slowly. Inhale as you reach. As you exhale, straighten your left leg. Sweep your hands down. Reach all the way back. Strong through your legs. Let's do it again. Inhale, rising. Exhale, straighten and sweep. Good. Inhale. Exhale. And release your hands to the ground. Folding over your As you inhale, you're going to step back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga, or to your belly. Inhale, lift your chest, either low cobra or up dog. And exhale, back to downward facing dog. <sighs> On your next inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, your knee to your left elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale to the elbow. Inhale. Exhale to the elbow, hold. Optional push up. And then plant your foot at the top. Inhale, sweep the left arm up, twist. 
Roll your chest open, press into your feet. And breathe. Optional half bind. Bringing left hand to the back or the hip. And you might even reach your right arm forward. Holding as you breathe. Exhale, windmill both hands down inside the leg. Bring your right heel down, lining them up, toes point directly out to the side of your mat. And as you inhale, open up to warrior two. Pressing down into your feet, tuck your tailbone, shoulders down the back. Inhale, reverse. And as you exhale, bring it down, side angle, reaching forward. Inhale, reaching back, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, bring it all the way back. Exhale, bring it all the way forward. And either use a block or the ground or just use your strength. Press against your arm to open your hips up. You could find either half or full. Breathe slowly. Inhale, release. Exhale, hands to the ground. And as you inhale, step your right foot forward. Exhale, hold. Shake out the head. Bend your knees, inhale, rising all the way up. Exhale, coming to stand. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Draw your hands away from your body. Notice how the chest starts to lift, but instead keep your low ribs closed. This way you feel the stretch more in your shoulders. Press into your toes, send your hips forward. Start to lift your chest, take it into a little bit of a back bend. Use your core strength. Drag your hands down to your heels. Inhale, rising up, reach to the sky. Exhale, bend your knees to your toes. Palm to heart center. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the right. Keep your chest higher than your hips. Knees and hips point straight forward. Continue to breathe. Inhale, center. Exhale, over to the other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, fold forward. On your inhale, step back to plank or prepare to jump. And make your way through vinyasa. Take your time. Modify what you want to. And we will meet in downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And side out. As you inhale, slowly walk your hands back to your feet. Folding all the way forward. Bring your feet to touch. Bend your knees. And as you inhale, stretch up for chair pose. Exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. Engage your core. Lift up as you draw the hands away from the body. Stay right here or lift your right knee, cross your ankle over figure four, and sit back in your chair. Keep your eyes focused on one point. That's your drishti. Become as still as the thing you're looking at. As you inhale, slowly rise, bring your knee into your chest. Hold. 
Maybe kick it out for a challenge. Keep holding. Three, two, one. Step it halfway. Shift your weight. Float your back leg. The warrior three. Mirror address in the three. Lengthening the body. Press into all parts of your standing foot. Lift your hands up as you lower your chest. Lift your leg as you lower your chest. Inhale, slowly bring the left knee up. Cross it over, figure four. You can switch your grip on your hands if you like. Breathe. Find your drishti. Make them as still as the thing you're looking at. As you inhale, bring that left knee up, hold. Either stay here or kick it out for three, two, one. Step it to the top, shift your weight, pick up your back leg, warrior three. Lift the hands, lift the leg, lower the chest, trying to get parallel to the floor. Inhale, come all the way up. Reach your arms up to the sky. And bring your palms to heart center. And shake it out. Whew. Inhale, open the arms. Exhale, give yourself a hug. Tuck your chin. Inhale, open. And hug the other way. Inhale, open, reach up. Exhale, through heart center, fold all the way forward. On your inhale, step back to your plank or prepare to jump. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, urdhva. And exhale, downward dog. On your inhale, lift your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot all the way through. Bring your left heel down for warrior one. Bend your right knee and rise up, warrior one. Exhale, open to warrior two. Interlace your fingers. Lift your heart, reverse your warrior, inhale. And then exhale, bring it all the way down low. Look back at your left foot and hold. Bend your right knee deeply and then pull it back in space, trying to square your hips. Lift your hands and look at your left toes. Keep breathing. Humble warrior. Remind you that although we are strong yoga warriors, we need to be humble and set our ego aside sometimes. As you inhale, slowly rise, lift your chest. Exhale, you're gonna float that back leg, warrior three. Keep breathing. If you're more advanced, there's an option to bend your knee and bind here. Option, not requirement. On the next inhale, rise up. Reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, folding all the way forward. All right, we have an option here to try crane pose. Palms are flat, lift your knees, and then bend your knees and your elbows towards each other. Once they connect, start to shift your weight. If they don't connect, try to come down and stretch your hips up. Once the knees and elbows connect, you shift forward and back. Forward and back until you lengthen your neck and the feet float up or crane pose, Vikasana. Hold as long as you like. And when you're ready, either step back to plank or jump back to Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva. And exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward dog. 
<sighs> All right, let's take it to the other side. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step the left foot firm. Back heel down, inhale, rising warrior one. Exhale, open warrior two. Interlace. Inhale, lift, reverse your warrior. Exhale, humble warrior. Look at your right foot. Bend your left knee and pull that left hip back. Breathe. Lengthen your neck. Just let it relax. Humble warrior. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, shift your weight and float your back leg for warrior three, your dressing. And if it was fun on the other side, bend the knee and bind for a variation of warrior three. And then release, reach up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, swan back forward and fold. Optional crane if you want it. And then step back or jump back and make your way through vinyasa. Exhale as you lower. Yeah. Inhale as you lift. Exhale down back. Good, let's bring the knees down, take child pose. And just take a moment here to breathe and check in with your body. On your inhale, slowly come up onto your elbows. So we ask the shoulders to stretch for us. Now they're going to strengthen. Walk your elbows in so that they're directly under your shoulders. That's difficult to do. Place a block between your forearms, and you should be about the distance of that block. No further. Because we want to keep the elbows close when we bear a little bit of weight into them. So press into your elbows, round your upper back, Tuck your toes. Eyes are looking in front of my thumbs. Tuck the toes, lift the hips. Shoulders over the elbows, ground your upper back. Start to walk your feet in. You can stay right here. This is a great pose. This is dolphin. And this is very strengthening for the shoulders. You could also try picking up a leg. And maybe even kicking up into your pose. My shoulders don't seem to want to quite support me there today. That's okay. Every day is different. And when you're ready, come down, child pose. Stretch your hands by your sides. And breathe. It might feel good to rock side to side. Hmm. And we're going to take a vinyasa. As you inhale, slowly roll it forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, lower down. I'm going to slide back a little bit just to be in the shot. Let's bring our hands to our hips. Press your hips down, press your toes down. Inhale, lift your chest off the ground, shoulder blades together. And as you exhale, release, bring your hands into your forehead. All right. We're going to do another back bend. We're going to start with hands on hips, just like we did before. 
If you want to take it a little further, interlace your fingers and reach your hands all the way back. Press your hips down, press your feet down, take two more breaths. And release. Hands under your forehead and breathe. Final back bend. You could stick with either of the first two, if those feel better for you. Or you could take it one step further. Just listen to what your low back wants. There should be no pain in your low back when you're back bending. Reach back, interlace your fingers, lift your hands back. You could stay right here or bend your knees. And if you can touch your fists to your heels, Reach back, take hold. Press your feet into your hands. Lift your chest for bow pose. And we're going to hold. Don your rest. On your exhale, gently release. Forehead to the ground or to the hands. And breathe. As you're ready, gently walk your hands back and press yourself back to child pose. As you inhale, slowly come up. Tuck your toes and press back to down dog. Take a deep breath in. And let it out. One more. On your inhale, lift your right leg up to the sky. And as you exhale, step your right foot all the way forward. Bring your left knee down. Bring your hands inside the leg. Breathe into your hip stretch. You have some options here. You can start to walk your hands out and a little lower. You could put blocks under your elbows, or you could bring your elbows down to the ground. But you want to be able to hold this stretch for about five more breaths, so don't force it. Only go as far as your body wants right now. That's how we build flexibility, not by forcing it, but by letting it relax into flexibility. If you want to go a step further, you can roll to the outside edge of your right foot, which just changes your hip stretch. And breathe. As you inhale, start to walk your hands in. And you're going to walk your right foot over to the left side for pigeon. You can place blocks under your hip, under your chest, under your head, whatever's going to make you feel more comfortable. Now, for an advanced option in your pigeon pose today, you can reach back and bind your foot. If that's not happening, then perhaps you just reach back with interlaced hands. Hold as long as you like. And whenever you are ready, you're going to lengthen your spine and slowly come all the way down to a resting pigeon pose. Connect your forehead to something so that you can relax head, neck, and shoulders. Stay present with your breath so that you can relax your hips, focusing more on the sound of your breath. 
and less on any sensations that you feel. As you inhale, slowly walk your hands in. Now we're just going to step back to our downward dog. <sighs> it might feel good to take a vinyasa, but you don't have to. If you want to just stay in down dog or child pose, you can do that. On your next inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, step your left foot all the way forward. Hands inside, bring your right knee down. Hands up the toes. You could have hands on blocks or books so that you get a little more lift. And you just want to feel the equal stretch between the sides. So however your right hip felt is how you want your left hip to feel. If you want to go deeper, walk your hands out or place your elbows on your blocks or bring your elbows all the way down to the ground. Lengthen your spine and keep breathing. You can roll to the outside edge of your left foot if that's what you did on the right side just to switch up that stretch a little bit. Target some different muscles when the knee rolls open. On your next inhale, plant your foot, walk your hands in, and we're going to walk the left foot over to the right side. Finding our pigeon pose. Tent your fingertips, sit up tall. You want your hips to be facing the top of your mat. Left knee lined up with the hip. And if you want, you can reach back with interlaced hands or take hold of the ankle. All are good options. Just do what feels right to you. Now, whenever you're done, after holding for an equal amount on each side, you're going to gently release and fold into resting pigeon pose. Shavasana Kapotasana. Using your blocks, however you did on the other side. Allowing your body to relax a little more with each exhale. you're ready. Start to walk your hands in. Tuck your right toes. Step back to your down dog. Deep breath in and sigh it out. Set your feet as wide as your mat. Press into your hands. Lift your tailbone as your chest goes back to your thighs. And 
slowly walk forward, keeping your feet as wide as your mat. And as you exhale, you're going to bend your knees, coming all the way down to Malasana, Garland Pose. Press your palms together, lift your chest. Take a few breaths. You could place a block into your hips if this is a little too intense. Just breathe. When you're ready, slowly bring your hips down to the ground. And we're going to gently lay down on our back. As you inhale, slowly bring your right knee in. Cross it over your left knee. And drop your knees over to the left side for a twist. Arms are reaching out, palms face up. And you can close your eyes if that's helpful. I find it helps to start to calm down my body when I close my eyes. On the next inhale, come back to center. Plant your feet on the floor. And we're going to cross left knee over and twist over to the other side. Arms out wide, eyes closed. Just breathe. As you inhale, slowly come back to center. Exhale, extend your legs all the way down the mat, finding your most comfortable resting pose. trouble closing the eyes, you could always place a towel or an eye pillow over the eyes. And remember that you can lay in any position that feels good to you. This is your practice. And you get to relax in the way that feels best for your body. Take a deep breath in. Sigh out. Today, we worked on our humble warrior pose, which opens up the hips, opens up the heart, so that we're aware of our feelings, we're open to love and hope and peace and joy. But we fold forward in the pose, which allows us to become humble. So that we're not only aware of our own feelings, not only aware of our own desires, and what brings us joy, what brings us peace and love. But we become humble and we recognize other people's hearts and other people's feelings. And we start to be humbled by their truth and the love that they have and the peace and joy that they find within themselves. And we recognize that although each of our journeys are individual and are personal, we become humbled by the fact that 
the experience of personal growth is shared by many. And we are not the only enlightened or spiritual or awakened person. I want to set our ego aside a little bit so that we can truly connect in our heart to others. As we meditate in Shavasana today, breathe in humility. Breathe in the oneness that we all share. And as you exhale, let go of ego. Continue to breathe as you rest in Shavasana. Slowly lay on the one side, eyes closed, just relaxing. And slowly make your way up to sit. Bring your palms together. Exhale. 
Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.